Hello guys, and welcome back to some more lovely creature stage goodness of these four completionist Let's Play series. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> and uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and get another friend to join my pack. And uh, we're a little bit limited on what we can do right now. There are some things that we can do, such as the Apply to the Bumblebee Achievement. I know I already have it, but it's something that I kind of want to do again, just to, you know, show you guys. Like, show you guys how I would normally do it, because it is super easy to get. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I would like to do the epic one, but I don't really think I have the stats for it at the moment. I mm, I do normally do the epic achievement, like epic slayer, by um, like chasing him into a nest and let my nestmates kill it. But I think that's a little bit, you know, not in the spirit of the challenge. So what I was going to do is use a uh, spitting technique, except I don't really have a good one, do I? <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do uh, for the start of this one is just go ahead and make some more friends. Get some more DNA, some more stats, and you know, all of that lovely creature sage goodness that we all know and love. Dancing with friends, killing things, and all that wonderful <laughs> repetitive stuff. <laughs> Man, these guys really like to dance, don't they? Cool, there's one. Were there even any alphas in this group? No, there weren't. That's weird. I wonder where the rest of them are. Hmm, strange. Alright, you, sir, you want to sing? But let's sing. We can sing really well. I do love though that's so, like I know I was saying this a lot last time, but I really, really love how I can have like this. Uh, oh, come on, stay still. That creature there following me. It just looks so cool in the in-game uh, campaign. <laughs> right, since we have a spice kitten here, then I may as well show you guys how I normally do the um, the flight achievement. Quite simply, all the up in the air and then just fly. I know that sounds really obvious and simple, but not many people know, or not a lot of people anyway, know that spice gates just kind of like bring up in the air like that. You should of course do this with the um, the cassowary wings, the feathery ones, since, you know, the um, the better wings you have, the more flaps you can have, the longer you can sustain flight for. Sadly, the webbed wings aren't really that good, but as you guys can see uh, here, there you go. I'm actually online for once, that's nice. <laughs> As you can see... Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I was blind. That is the achievement there, so I already have that one. I already have Epic Killer, Max Power. In fact, I already have a lot of these, come to think of it. I think the only ones that I'm lacking is the typical... Uh, where is it? Play the Crystal Stage 10 times. I should be really close to that. And then uh, there are three hidden achievements. Two of which we will be getting as soon as we progress through the stage. And the third one, I am not so sure about the third one. Um, the third hidden achievement, which I do not have. Blastoise Pony. Okay, Shunkerbell. That's a very interesting creation. Is that meant to be like a My Little Pony Blastoise? Or... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, I got sidetracked now. The last uh, hidden achievement that I absolutely do not have is the Kill 300 posse members and I have no way of tracking that I have no idea how close or how far I am from that achievement and uh, because it's hidden like even if there was a tracking mechanism because I'm hidden I, I still couldn't even find out anyway so I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna approach that achievement if at all guys uh, the way I see it is I have to complete this creature stage 10 times anyway hopefully I can make a good deal of progress within that uh, within those 10 times, but otherwise I'm not sure. Like after that, if I still don't have it, I'm not really sure what to do. So let me know guys. The kill 300 posse members achievement. Should I really just like, ga like gamble it and blindly try to get that achievement? Or do you guys think, you know, be one of those things that I gradually get over time? Should I try for it? Or should I just let it happen when it happens? Let me know. I failed that one. <laughs> There are a lot better dancers than I am, so I'm going to go ahead and summon my flock. I've got a ton of risk over there. Oh, the one right there. Let's go ahead and kill you then. Oh, wow. Yep. My guys do a lot of damage now, don't they? <laughs> and let's get that one there. I'm kind of stuck on the challenge creation. There you go. Got him in the end. Okay, let's try that again then. You, Alpha, let's be friends. The Blastoise Pony. Definitely is an interesting concept, Shunkerbell, I will give you that. <laughs> I love the cannons though, like the cannons and the little, um, I'm not sure that's armor or straps or, actually yeah, it's like part of the turtle shell, isn't it? The little bits there, like the uh, keratin horns, I, I like that a lot. 
Okay, cool. There's one, another one down. Let's get you, mate. Yeah, man. Got on so many of them. Mate, stop charming and singing, said please. I'm a much better singer. Well, they do have custom heads, so they probably have like a very bit. Oh, there you go. Yay, singing. <laughs> Woohoo! Got there. Right then, I have 111 DNA points. Not really much to do anything with. Uh, right. What else can we get now? What else can we get? Just go ahead and kill the composite. Composite Golem IL. Hmm, not sure what the IL stands for, but by Cecil. He's an awesome creator, by the way. He. Oh, you're dying. Don't don't die, mate. Don't die. Oh, he's dead. Wow. Well, <laughs> that contributes to the whole uh, kill 300 plus members, doesn't it? <laughs> wow, these guys are strong. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Uh, what was I going to say? I kind of lost track there. Yeah, Cecil. Really, really awesome creator. If I remember correctly, I think he actually stopped creating like a, a very, very long time ago. But regardless, definitely is on the better creators in my opinion. Very un Oh god, hello. That was very rude. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh no, no. Okay, screw this. I'm backing out. I'm backing out. I don't want to die and crash and all that horrible good stuff. <laughs> Just gonna go back over here. Uh, they're following me. Right, I'm gonna save the game. Uh, saving mid-combat probably is not the best idea, but at the same time though, I'm not gonna crash and then start again. <laughs> there we go. So at least if I crash, uh, sorry, at least if I die, I have like another shot at this. Okay, let's just quickly deal with you then. I mean, you guys, you Blastoise ponies, you could help if you wanted to. I mean, helping would be like very helpful right now, funnily enough. Okay, they're healing up, good. Right. In fact, if you're not going to help, I'm going to make you help. And of course you had to sing. Brilliant. Nice and easy. And there's a charm. Damn it. Actually, no, my charm's okay now. Now there's only one of them. It's a lot easier to uh, compete. Woohoo! Right. Let's get you killed. Let's go over back to them. There oh, there's an injured one over there. Hmm. I do want to kill that injured one. You are also very injured. Oh, actually. You're an alpha. I'd much rather kill the alpha. And there's a dead feathery thing over there. Oh, there's a lot of feathery things. Oh, there's archangels. Hmm, interesting. Okay, there's a little baby there. Let's go kill the baby. Let's kill the baby. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game. There's certain things in sport that really just do not get old. And there's the injured one. Oh, is that, that it? Oh, there's the injured one. Let's go for you, mate. There you go. Haha. -ha. We are victorious. We already have 246 DNA points. Let's go ahead and get these skeletons up and going. Up and running. Something. English. Um. Right, it's only the Archangel over here by Vectrix. Let's go ahead and ally them then. <clears throat> and my voice is casually broke. Don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry. Oh, God. Now, these remind me too much of the uh, Your Grandpa species. <laughs> I do love the faces. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no chance to the pose. Uh, I have a decent shot of singing. No, actually, nah. I've got no chance of them. Alright, I'm going to leave them for now then. We have the... What is that? There's not a smiley face in the name. What the hell? The Sertox Lasha me and I just crashed. I, I have no idea why I crashed there. Well then. Um... Damn. I feel like I'm having deja vu. Right, let's go ahead and get these guys again then, shall we? Uh, absolutely typical when that happens. It really is. A very strange time to crash, actually. Like, every crash I've had so far, like, in the last uh, three seasons of the Let's Play, they've always been to one of two things. There's either uh, crashing from dying or crashing during, uh, like, the mating screen. Or basically, during a cinematic or a cutscene. That's the only times I've ever actually crashed, so it's actually really weird and unexpected to see myself crash at that point. It just seems so out of the blue. But uh, that's fine, that's fine. It just means you've got to save ever more frequently. But you know, these things happen. If I was to get angry about it every single time, I'd never play this game. Right, let's get you down, mate. And then ask us to get our alpha once again. Sweet. Uh, Alright, I should probably start eating, actually, if my... 
I was nearly starving there. Practically was. I did just have an allied die. Whatever. Uh, I should be able to handle that one epic, just three of us. I'm hoping, anyway. This might go horribly bad. Oh no, it's a baby next to it. Yeah, okay, it's just a baby next to it, which I already know won't attack me, so we can take this guy on. It's doing a lot of damage, though. Either that, or I just wasn't healing properly. I'm on 30 HP. There we go, we're fine. Doesn't even matter anymore. Right then. Get that skeleton or that bone pile again. <laughs> Let's get that one again. Cool. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and uh, get another ally from these guys over here. That's the point, actually. I wonder. If I lose an ally, or I lose a posse member, and then I crash, and I come back, and I lose another one, do they both count towards the achievement or not? I actually have no idea. I mean, the whole cell stage thing required, like, saved games. That was a big emphasis on, you know, having, like, actual saved games, I'm guessing. The data has to be saved into the galaxy for it to count. But I'm not sure, though. You never know, it might count otherwise, or somewhere in the background. I do not know, but, uh... I suppose it doesn't really matter either way though, but it's going to be such a long time since I get that. Either a long time or a lot of hard work. <sighs> either way, I am uh, admittedly not really looking forward to it. But hey, completionist, eh? Right, there's these guys over here. Oh, actually, it's a skeleton. Oh, uh, are they aggroed? I think they are. Oh, no, they're not aggroed. They're just angry. Right. Oh, now they're aggroed. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Okay, which is the lowest? Okay, I guess you are. Let's go for this one first. If I had my flock, I would be summoning my flock right now. But I just don't have this an option. You are doing a lot of da Oh god, no, 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 no. I'm gonna spit. There's some more over there. Gotta make sure I don't get attacked by them. I'm gonna stun you. No, I can't. Come on, stun. Combo. Good, right. Let's go away. All my health. Let's go over here and save. Save, um, heal. Wow, I'm losing so many posse members. I mean, it's good, you know, for the achievement, but at the same time... Okay. This is risky, but I really do want to finish that guy off. Although he might charge me behind me. Oh no, he charged me. Damn it, stunned. Can we... can we 2v1 this? Can we 2v1? No, we can't. Okay, back out, backing out, backing out. Come on. Whew. Oh, bunch of my raptors over there. Okay, this hurts. Oh god. No, leave me alone. Okay, stealthing. No, it didn't work. <laughs> they stunned. Oh no, they stunned. They had their charge. Like, oh, what's the word? I stealthed mid their charge. That was the English I was aiming for. Bugger. At least I didn't crash. But I lost all of my posse members. Okay, you know what guys, you know what I think it's time for? I think it's time for an attempt to upgrade our character, our creature. Um, hopefully we have the better shot. I clearly need more combat. I mean, in terms of socialising, I can always summon my flock and uh, add like a really socially OP, <laughs> sounds weird, socially OP creature to my pack. I can always do that. But for the combat, yeah, I'm, I'm just so limited right now. So, what I will do is, that's a spitting part, that is a strike part. Uh, right, so what do I have then? My bite is awful, my strike is awful, my spit is even worse, but I don't really use spit that often. And I think it has a minimum range anyway. So, what I will do is go ahead and upgrade to these. Yeah, those. Uh, is that all I can do? Oh, I hope not. I really hope not. Uh, my charge... I wonder, does a level increase like the, the duration of the stun or is it only damage? I think it's only damage, but I'm not actually sure about that, so I'm never really bothered to experiment. Uh, the beak, that beak's as good as I can get. That is the better one there. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna have to go for the, uh, what's it called? The die trap? I need like more damage because like I literally just said a moment ago, I can always just uh, summon a flock to do all the socializing stuff. But for this, I need more damage more than anything else right now. Uh, too many parts. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to pull the eyes back onto the body like that. It's going to look so silly right now. In fact, I'll be honest, I am getting a little bit tired of these eyes. I'm not sure I want to keep them anymore. Uh, I will, though. Like, I'll let you guys decide, but mm, I'm not 100%. But what I will do is make the head asymmetrical. 
uh, which you can do by holding A, by the way, as you can see there. And what that's just done is, uh, whereas now, at full complexity, that is literally just halved of the value. So now I have, like, a uh, more room again. Uh, what else? Oh, I have upgraded feet. Where is it? There they are. It's just dance and speed. Uh... It's only 75. That should be okay, actually. Let's try that. And what happens then if I try to equip that? Can I afford it? I can't. No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Before sprint. Yeah. No. Oh, well, I think I can get rid of the sprint for now. Temporarily, I can get rid of the sprint. This I will add to the regurgitative sack, as uh, someone informed me in the last episode. So thank you for that. So there we go, the regurgitative sack can now be uh, very spiky and intimidating. Come on. There you go, centralised. Right, is that all I can do for now then? I think it might just be- I'm gonna go ahead and make those like really big like that. <laughs> Why wow, that looks so silly. Right, uh, so we have really bad sing. Oh, we've, we've got a mixture of parts in fact, just general mixture. My strike is- Really like isn't that the strike hands? Ah, uh, right. I clearly missed that. No wonder I'm having such a hard time with the uh, stats. I've been going like full on hybrid. Oh, dear. Then again, though, like if you look at this for example, I can only go the parts that the game's given to me. Like I have to wait for these to unlock to even see what they are. So all I really can do is just choose a path and hope it's the right one. So uh. Yeah, right, well, okay, I guess that's all we have for now. Ah, oh, level strike three, though. Well, level three strike is so bad. I don't even have that as an option. Like, this uh, row here would be a lot better. Strike level four. Uh, thinking, thinking. I mean, I get a pose, so that's something. Like, I don't want to be, like, 100% without socializing. Okay, it's gonna have to do for now. Dude, it's gonna be a while before we can kill that epic, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so here we are now with our strange little Venus flytrap raptor cat bird. <laughs> I have no idea anymore. Right, well, I will do. Oh, it's an epic. Great. Um. That epic. I'm, I'm deciding this epic. Like, do I actually just want to bite the bullet to kite it to my nest? I'll probably kill all my allies, actually. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I mean, I, I know I've already killed an epic. Like, I have already done it. I'm just going to see if I can maybe, maybe do it again. Oh, God. I'm scared. Get out of my way, you stupid Naruki. Whatever your name is, Nukuri. Oh, God, look at its face. Dextrix. Why did you do this to me? Okay, let's go ahead and uh... Oh, we're doing damage. We're definitely doing damage. Yeah, we're getting there guys. <laughs> and we are already 100 health down. Yes. And surprisingly, all of my creatures are alive. Not for long though. They're just surely about to get killed. Are you gonna do your stomp? No, all you're doing is, ro is um, roaring. Yeah, roaring. Just screaming and growling. Okay, you're turning around now. You're probably going to do something, aren't you? Or you're just going to scream again. Uh, I'm a little bit confused right now. Normally, like, just one stomp and they would all die. But he just does not want to... He's, all he's doing is screaming, which I'm really happy with, by the way. And what's pretty cool is that my nest mates aren't even getting involved. It's just us four. Are we actually going to do this? <laughs> yeah, okay, you just tried to animate in some way there. I just saw his uh, hands kind of like do a bit of a shimmy. I think they're actually like causing a collision issue and it's kind of stuck in, in place. I think, anyway. I would go in and charge and like use my melee abilities, but I'm kind of nervous that whatever's happening, I'm going to like unstick it. I mean, right now this is clearly working. You know, if something, if it's if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know, it's as simple as that. So I'm just gonna sit in the back here and just gonna spit at this epic. I spit in your shoulders, good sir, or your hips, or whatever you wanna call those things. 
Wow, this might actually be the easiest epic kill I've ever done. Actually, I lie. Uh, in season one, I it was either season one or season two, I actually did run into an epic that was, uh, again, swarmed by a pack of rogues. You heard that correctly, a pack of rogues. So um, all I did is run in and snipe the kill, and I got an achievement for that. So I think I got an achievement for that one, I can't remember. Uh, that was the easiest epic kill I've ever done. This is the second right now. Well, that went surprisingly well. Wow. It's too bad that you can't earn achievements multiple times. But, uh, I got 100 DNA for that. I feel like it should give me way more than the 100 DNA. Like 500 or 1000. I mean, I know that's a lot, but at the same time, it's a freaking epic. They one shot you. It should be rewarding. 100 DNA. That's crap. Oh, skeletons over there, though. Should go ahead and grab all those then. Since, uh, the epic is no longer guarding them. <laughs> uh, oh, I should probably save. I just realised. I don't want to kill an epic and then crash. I have been crashing a lot more than usual uh, this time around. Like I said earlier on in the previous one. Um, I normally crash like during loading screens and such. It just seems a little bit more unstable today. I'm not sure why, but I will... I'm going to have to talk to Rob about that. Uh, right, let's go ahead and get these. But yeah, though, as long as I can like prepare myself for it, it's really not the end of the world. Wow, yeah, we are decimating now, aren't we? We're doing so much more damage. K uh, kill all the rest of these Hades plants. Really weird that they're called Hades. I, I'm guessing it probably means something in another language. But, like, all I can think of is Hades as in, like, the god of the underworld. So it's a little bit weird seeing the god of the underworld as a flower. Right, awesome. Skeleton there skeleton there and then uh huh, got 147 dna and we have a really crappy looking creature here a crappy in terms of stats like you know this little thing here is not going to have very many stats so it should be very easy to socialize with uh what's that that is uh charm i think yeah charm oh wow okay the only thing that we probably can't really deal with is singing since I traded out my uh, my singing or my hybrid uh, head for the pure damage one, should be fine though. Where's the epic or the alpha? There it is. Bronchosaurus legs, Avelli Naz. All right, mate. Wow. Even with my uh, crappy singing, it's still actually quite decent. The dance should be a lot better though. I have level three dance, which is not too bad. Bit of a pose there, level 4 pose, a very or charm, sorry. I clicked the right thing, I knew the right ability, I just gave it the wrong name. And last one here. Uh, Alpha, oh, Aqua, <laughs> Doketa reanimated. Yeah, one of my creatures over there. And another big patch of skeletons. Hmm. Right, I think, guys, what I'm thinking is, we go ahead and kill that pack over there. We extinctify. That's a word now. We extinctify the Aqua Daketa reanimated species. If we can, of course. There's actually a lot of them. This might kill me. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's going to kill me. Backing out. Backing out. Backing out. Gonna go ahead and uh, spit. Oh, God. No. Don't jump into it. Right. Going to stun. Strike. If they don't focus me, I will easily survive. There is one focusing me at least. Oh, oh god. Okay, never mind. Hoo -hoo, that was close. I'm on 5 HP. Am I the guy over there? What HP is he on? 3. Wow. That one's probably going to die. Oh no. Oh, clutch. He healed. Sweet. So, uh, yes, as I was going to say, I'm going to go ahead and kill this lot over here then once we're uh, fully healed, or at least partially fully healed. And then I'm probably going to wrap it up there, just in terms of time. Um, but after that, like, I think in the next episode, we can probably look into actually evolving. When we, like, the very moment that we evolve, we're going to get two more achievements. Uh, actually, here's a question. So I've got another question for you guys. i got two questions for you tonight. So the first one is, how do you want me to approach the 300 killed Posting Memphis achievement? Shall we actually painfully grind it? Or shall we, like, just let it happen over time? And the other question is, uh, do you want to see, like, 
the let's play oh sorry uh, do you want to see like a playthrough of the remaining how many is it i have to i have to finish a crit stage 10 times do you want to see a playthrough for each of the 10 times or however many it's going to be probably more like six i reckon or shall i just do what i did for the south stage and just skip ahead to the completion each time uh let me know i might do a poll for both of those questions in the video if i can do two polls if not then i'll just choose one but uh yeah, I think that's going to have to wrap it up here. What do I have? Yeah, I, I still need so many more parts. God damn it. It's, it's frustrating. The creature sage, like, if you actually want to have, like, a decent looking creature, the amount of grind required is actually surprisingly high. At least for the creature that you actually plan on playing in the campaign. Like, my, my throwaway saves that are going to be for the um, creature sage achievements, they're just going to be throwaways. It's going to be, like, a simple race to the finish. But uh, for this one here that I actually intend on playing with, it's going to take a while. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm like. I can't just have the creature just look like this. I mean, it looks kind of cute in its own little demented way. But it, it could look better. We can all agree it could look better. Eat some fruit. Come on. Why, why are you like just frozen? Eat some fruit. You're in the way, aren't you? There you go. Yeah. Right then. So yeah. <laughs> Let me know, guys. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you look forward to the next one. Give me your input. Let me know. And as always, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care and have a lovely day. <laughs>